The Three Armadillos Tough by Jackie Mims Hopkins. Once there were three armadillo sisters by the name of Tough. The smallest was Lily, a humdinger of a gal who really knew how to shake her shell on the dance floor. The middle sister was Jilly, the fashion queen of the family. The biggest sister was Dilly, who was crazy about chowing down. My, my, how those three armadillies loved to have a good time. In fact, it was their quest for fun and adventure that got them in trouble one warm summer evening. Let's go to that new dance hall on the other side of the highway, suggested Lily. I have a hankering to learn some new steps and kick up my claws. But if we run across the highway, I might chip my nails, complained Jilly, inspecting a freshly painted claw. Or get squashed by an 18-wheeler, Dilly added. Oh, don't be such soft-shelled ninnies, Lily scoffed. We can cut through the big drain pipe that runs under the road. The sisters all agreed that this was a fine idea, so they waddled off toward the highway. By and by, the sisters arrived at the culvert and peered into the long, dark pipe. I'll go first, Lily volunteered bravely. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Lily sashayed her way along. Who's that scritch scratching through my tunnel? growled a voice. It's just me, Lily Armadilly Tough, the smallest sister replied. Come closer, snarled the voice. As Lily stepped forward, she saw a split, spindly legged coyote with glowing eyes glaring at her hungrily. Woo wee! exclaimed Lily, jumping back. She tried to ignore the coyote's pointy fangs. From the looks of those scrawny legs, I'd say you need a workout. What I need, panted the coyote, is a nice hot bowl of armadillo chili. Lily thought fast. My biggest sister's right behind me. She'd make a much better chili than I would, she suggested. The scraggly coyote scratched behind an ear for a moment. Go on, then, she barked finally. Get! Lily scurried away before the coyote could change her mind. Soon after, the second sister waddled into the tunnel. She was very careful not to let the cobwebs catch in her jewelry. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Jilly jangled her way along. Who's that scritch scratching through my tunnel? growled the coyote. It's just me, Jilly Armadilly Tough, the middle sister replied. Come closer, the coyote demanded. As Jilly stepped forward, she saw drool dripping off the coyote's long tongue and onto the critter's grungy coat. Yikes, yipped Jilly. That slobbery mouth of yours sure needs sprucing up. And from the looks of your mangy old fur, mangy old fur, I'd say you need a good soak in the tub. What I need, snapped the coyote, looking Jilly up and down, is a nice hot bowl of armadillo chili and some fancy armadillo skin boots. Whoa, hold on, flea bag, replied Jilly, holding up a claw. In that case, you'll be wanting my big, and I do mean big, Sister Dilly, she's on her way right here, right now. Dilly will not only fill you up and make you a fine pair of boots, but she might even fetch you a handbag, too. Handbag. The scraggly coyote's beady eyes grew larger, and she stopped drooling for a moment. Then she licked her chops and barked, Go on, then, get! Dilly skittered out of that tunnel, lickety-split. A few minutes later, the third sister squeezed into the tunnel. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Dilly lumbered her way along. Who's that scritch scratching through my tunnel? howled the coyote. It's just me, Dilly Armadilly Tough, the biggest sister replied. I'm trying to catch up with my sisters. Well, your sisters aren't here, snarled the coyote. But they promised you would make me a fine meal, some boots, and a handbag. Who, me? Dilly said. 
Why, that's downright ridiculous. I'm no good at cooking or sewing, but I know where we can find ourselves something good to eat and have some fun. With a growl, the coyote stepped out of the shadows, and Dilly got a good long look at her. Mercy, Dilly yelped. I mean, why, you poor thing. How long has it been since you'd had a girl, you've had a girl's night out? What? asked the coyote, frowning. You know, a night out on the town, Dilly explained. With friends? The coyote sniffed. I've always been a loner, she said sadly. I never had any friends. Well, bless your little old heart, Dilly cried. We can fix that. Come on, let's go find my sisters. When Lily and Jilly heard the coyote's sad story, the three sisters treated the pitiful critter, whose name, by the way, was Tallulah, to a fluff and puff makeover and a fine meal at the trash cans behind the chomp and stomp. Before long, Tallulah was looking fine in her new hair bow, fake leather boots, and a matching handbag. Then it was time to hit the dance floor, where Lily taught them how all taught them all how to do the armadilly shuffle. So, if you ever hear critters digging through your garbage cans or a coyote howling, don't fret. It's just Tallulah and the armadilly tough sisters having a rip-roaring good time.